Hello, my name is Pixelania Twix, and welcome back to Boundless. <laughs> I can't stand me. Welcome back to Boundless, and welcome to my base here on Purple Rain, um, SHPR. Star, Star Hollows Purple Rain. I can never say that correctly. I don't know why I have the right. worst time saying that or remembering that. Anyways, I am here um, to, well, this is kind of a bittersweet video for me because, well, um, I've been here in this area since I started playing Boundless and um, today I'm actually saying goodbye. Not to the game, uh, because I still like playing Boundless, although I don't get a chance to play as much as I'd like to, because, at least lately, because I have been um, trying to record other videos for my channel, because this isn't just a strictly Boundless channel, but it has been mostly Boundless. So anyway, um, you guys can see off in the distance, we are still building. There's a huge airplane in the sky that belongs to Digby. Caesar and he is a really good builder by the way um, I won't show that right now because I don't think he's finished but I wanted to give you guys one last tour of my base um, a lot has happened since I last gave you a tour and this is kind of my way of saying goodbye to this area I do need a fresh start somewhere and this is a great way for me to start over I also took copious pictures because I plan on uh, copying some things because I was proud of some of the, the things I did build. So like this area here, um, this is my workshop area. This is a secondary workshop. This is for actually the guild. Um, so for new people who don't have access to a workshop right away, um, we had this area or I built this area down there for him, them. So this is where, what is going on down here. This is kind of my Thieves Guild inspired um, build here. It's not so much Thieves Guild as it is sewer, but it kind of gives me that Skyrim Thieves Guild vibe. So that's what I went with kind of, that's, that's what I was going for. Anyways, this is where the magic happens for the new people that would have joined the guild. And over here was a portal that connected to the main guild uh, workshop but I went ahead and let that one close um, and then we've got what I call the PT Morgan and Chase pixelated Twix Morgan and Chase the stock exchange this is the vault here and basically I kind of grabbed this idea from well I did grab this idea from HSC where they have they had a building where you could um, trade items to get items so it's free stuff and you know stuff that you have a massive influx of and you don't know what to do with it and it's not really enough to actually sell somewhere or you don't have a store you just want to get rid of it or you just want to help a guildie out so that's what I basically did I made this here um, and I use the gear system I don't remember who I think this was also also HSC I kind of um, took that idea made gears here because that's what would power up these doors and um, just kind of made it look like a Tiffany's T half Tiffany's part steampunk part vault I don't know it's kind of fancy but I will be moving this build over so I definitely took a lot of pictures of this because I like this build and I wanted to keep it going and then of course I will probably redesign this but I'm definitely going to build the underground workshop now I do have an idea for something underground if you are an avid WoW player as I used to be I haven't played WoW in a while because that's another story um, I will probably be changing this about around and making it look like an Iron Forge build because Iron Forge happens to be one of my favorite vanilla cities iron I would say Iron Forge first then I would say Stormwind and then if I were going to expansions oh goodness I have a whole list we'll talk about that maybe I'll make maybe I'll make a podcast about it I think I need to put that on my podcast just just discussing discussing where's that what is that <laughs> Just discussing like what are my favorite areas in games I've played. 
that actually might be interesting. You let me know in the comments if you want to hear about that because you may not, you may not, you may not even care. So this is my workshop here and, um, or not my workshop, it was a guild uh, workshop, but I guess, I don't know, I guess it'll be part of my workshop. Um, so this was a pub um, and you had to go under the bridge and through this little alcove here and you enter in, it's called Mork and Mindy's. 20 bucks to the person who knows reference to that. Not really, but I'm just saying. Do you do you know who Mork and Mindy is? Um, so I aptly named this after, uh, I'm not gonna say, but let me know. So I will definitely be, I think, moving some of this here. If I do an Iron Forge type build, I may take some of the bits and pieces and make it, um, you know, just add it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Love that connection. So yeah, this is kind of what I had going. I had a pool table, the extended fireplace up here, and I had like shutters, which I loved because it added light when I needed to add light. I love this build here. Um, and then I had pool sticks and the pool table. I said that already, didn't I? Um, and the little bar right here and right here. And of course we have these acting as like casts, I guess. Um, and some lighting, the pretty lighting from uh, the holiday season. Okay, and so then we're gonna go through here. And this of course is the portal to Atreyu, which is one of my sovereign planets. And uh, here is Fantasia's, the colors for Fantasia, which those are incorrect because I did not change them. And these are also incorrect because those would be the current colors for Trio. Now I will be moving to another planet if you're interested. Um, and I was gonna move to a T5 planet, but I forgot about this T3 planet. And I knew that it was gonna be more expensive for me to fuel uh, this particular, um, beacon or beacon portal so i thought that it would be best for me to go to another t3 planet which is going to be murica uh here is my mythical sausage inspired build um and this is the bakery so i went ahead and took pictures of this because i'm thinking i might go ahead and recreate the inside of this if not the outside, I don't know because I'm thinking if I do an underground city, it's definitely going to be Iron Forge. I really won't need this entire build, but maybe some of it. Um, and this is where the person who owns the bakery would sleep. So, yeah, I did take all that. Um, and, you know, uh, this is the original, <laughs> the original house that I started in. It started off as a little box and then I upgraded it a bit. And here we are today. So I'm gonna, I hate to take this down because this was here, look at this, established 2019. That's when I started playing the game back in the winter of 2019. Okay, so on to the next. This is my little rice and uh, corn farm, wheat farm. Um, it definitely needs some improving, but you know, I liked how I had it set up here. So um, I don't know, we'll probably change that. And I had a little ruins because I got really frustrated with the build I had in mind. So I left, made this look like ruins. I kind of like that idea. Um, okay, so keeping it moving. Um, I guess we can go down here. You guys can see my workshop. I don't think I've ever showed you like a full tour of my workshop. So this is something that I ended up redoing completely. If you guys remember what my old workshop looked like, it was like all the really dark azure, um, which I love night azure. And I love blue, white, and blue, white, and gray are like my favorite colors. And usually it's like a, you know, royal blue or just blues. And even turquoise, I, I really like this shadow turquoise. And I think there's a different um, turquoise color in here. Oh, this is shadow turquoise. I forgot what this one was, but I love it. So I kind of went with that theme down here. And you can see that I extended it all the way back. And I have my to-do list here. I will be replicating this because I really love this uh, workshop and I'll have more room to um, expand it if I move. Because right now, um, because of the lack of planning in my build, I'm kind of stuck to this area. And of course, you know this. Um, I will probably recreate this Pixie Co. just because 
you know, I like it. I might go ahead and connect it to the upstairs uh, workshop because, I don't know, I just want to recreate this. So I'll definitely come here and take copious pictures as well. Um, maybe, maybe I'll keep this. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? I really like this middle. I do. I do. So I think I might try to, to replicate that. Um, and this whole workshop needed to be redone anyway, so I'm definitely going to do that. I hate to see my little steam room leave, my little um, back room here, but I can always redo this as well. Um, and then back here, I was planning on trying to fix this up a little bit, and um, I just hadn't worked on it, so this is this. <laughs> this is where all my work tables were, crafting tables. And um, yeah, I was doing some, um, like, I don't know what I was doing here. I know like rhyme and reason back here. I just wanted like these little like individual lab rooms. And then over here is the other part of my storage area. The little portal here goes to tchotchkes. Um, and so I have this part here. So I might just go ahead and redo this. Again. Or you know what, what I might do see what's gonna happen is I'm gonna end up reclaiming this with um, everything else and I'm just gonna rebuild it I'm just gonna rebuild it this was a lot of work but I had fun doing it and I never finished the chiseling here so I mean it is what it is I have a bunch of unfinished projects and I think what's best for me is to start fresh and um, you know I can actually fix things that I had kind of didn't plan well or wasn't able to do what I wanted to do. Like down here is my combustion farm. I wanted to make this a little bit wider, but I was um, competing with someone else's plots. So I had to make this very narrow. And then up here was um, the water area. You know, my little terrace um, in the middle between my church and the um, bridge. Um, this messed up my ceiling, so I'm definitely going to be um, love that I could actually build this out the way I wanted it to because I was really looking forward to having this really kind of glammed out, uh, a really glammed out combustion farm because if you're just going to go big, go big, right? Go big, go glam. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, oh, yeah. So... Um, oh, yeah, so back here, we have some more medieval building. I don't even think I showed you guys this. Pretty sure I didn't. Now this, I wanted to tear down and restart. Um, this was an unfinished build here. This one I kind of wanted to fix up, but I never got a chance to. I had wanted to tear this down because I hated this house, but I really loved this one. So this is what I have going on inside here. I've got all this here. I'm thinking I may recreate some of this stuff. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is that, with the, my balcony and things going across. And um, yeah, the little, I love all the um, details that I did in here. My little closet. And then back here, I've got like two, a one entranceway on the side. And you can go down in here. There's a door and this is like a little wine cellar. And yeah, so this was kind of a cute little cubby hole thing. And in the back here, this was another house I had torn down, guys. I had rebuilt this area. I had fenced this off, gated this off. Um, so it looks almost like a drawbridge, but you can't go in there. And it made no sense, but I kind of, I had this pie place here. So you can go in here and order some, some foodables. Then over here I had, uh, like I said, I was gonna tear this down anyways because I didn't like how it turned out. I liked the inside, I just didn't like the outside so much. So this was like supposed to be like a little inn, but it needed to be bigger, it really did. Um, I'm not so great with the massive builds above ground. Uh, underground, I'm fantastic, I guess. I mean, that being my opinion. Now over here was a project that was in the works and I just want to say thank you to Princess and her cohort. I can't think of his name right now, but I'm really sorry. Um, they were working on this tunnel for me because this tunnel 
um, was leading to my uh, kindling farm, which I will probably revamp. Um, but I really love what they did down here. This was just a quick tunnel to get underneath to my water temple. Um, and it was a great transition. They did an amazing job. So I think I'm gonna go down here and take some pictures and kind of get the same vibe of what they did. It didn't have to be like super extensive. Um, and I did have a lot of room to work down here anyways, because again, plots, plotting was, um, I was competing. So yeah, you had to come through this door and right here and then voila, unfinished kindling farm, but there it is. So I was struggling to get this finished because um, because of how I was building and like I said, unplan the planning was terrible. Um, but this is what happens when you first start the game and you don't really know what you're going to do and how you're gonna do it and then you change your mind and you change your mind over and over again. So this is the original entrance and that was gonna get locked so you couldn't enter that way. And um, yeah, so that's my water temple. I had actually wanted to fix that because I did the dome incorrectly. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fix that water temple. This um, is a house that, I don't know what I was doing here, but this was my little cove to get through here. So you can come through here underground. I got little bats here. And then you have to enter through here. And this was kind of a, a potions shop. And this was the um, back room for this. So I've got, um, the inventory back here and yeah so I kind of liked how I did that but um, once again uh, you live and you learn you find out uh, how to do things differently and you try to fix it so this is what I was doing trying to fix my builds one by one and I got just like okay this is overwhelming um, because there was so much to tear down so just the idea of starting fresh and um, fixing ideas and creating new ideas was honestly a welcomed, um, a welcomed friend. It, and it did feel like that because I'm like, you know what? I love my area, but I'm kind of stuck here with things that I made. Wasn't really thinking about the theme. Wasn't really thinking about my true vibe. And I know that I can swing from medieval to like high fantasy um, to like, you know, the, the dungeon in, the, in, in this area here. Um, I, those are just, I have no rhyme or reason. But I mean, obviously underground sewer wouldn't matter because that's underground. But um, definitely want to fix some things. Definitely want to learn from some some things um this tree is horrendous but i wanted to fix that as well and so yeah so that you guys is me giving you a quick tour and saying a very bittersweet goodbye to tana um i like i said i've been here since i started the game and i don't um i don't have any regrets i had a great time playing with um, my friends when we started the game together and you know they've since moved on and um, I'm still here kicking it and um, I've made some uh, new new friends in the game as well so um, yeah I, I will still be a part of uh, Chopin but not as my primary guild I will be moving on to hang out in another guild and you will see that. But I will be trying to find an area on America and um, yeah, just trying to find a new place to dig a hole in and redo my workshop and so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick video. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. I'm not gonna even sing that, but it is. It is hard to say goodbye, but I'm actually excited about the new the new beginning. I am. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you later. Ciao.